Hey everybody, Grave Rose here, and today we're going to be talking about SSH tunneling. So before we actually get into the video, if you have a rough idea as to how SSH tunneling works, but you're not entirely sure what's happening, this diagram here that I put together, it's very basic, it's fun and color-coded, and should give you a rough idea as to exactly what happens. So on the left-hand side, we have a listen socket on port 1234 that when we establish our SSH tunnel, is going to forward any traffic that comes into this socket out to the remote side. The remote side is then going to do whatever we tell it to do. And if you understand that, then I've saved you some time. You don't have to watch the rest of the video. Otherwise, stick around and we'll do a, an actual demonstration right now. So we have one machine over here on VLAN 20 at 172.17.20.103 that the Kali box is not able to SSH into. So we're going to go over there and we're going to each ping. 172.20.17.20.103-s-p22. And as you can see, we get no replies. So the upstream ASA is actually blocking that. Now over here, we have another machine at dot .100 that we are actually able to SSH into. And we can verify that again by doing hping on port 22. And as you can see, now we get Synax. So what we're going to do is we're going to SSH we're going to do local forwarding. We're going to take port 1234, and we want to send that to 172.20. Sorry, 172.17.20.103, which is the machine that we're not actually able to SSH into. And then we pick our target, 172.17.20.100. Okay, so now we're in there. If we go to our Kali machine again on a different console. We can take a look at the socket status by doing netstat dash NAP grep 1234 and as you can see port 1234 is in a listen state on the local host. So now if we SSH root at localhost on port 1234 now we're in from the Kali box. So what's happened here is We've sent SSH traffic into port 1234, and because of the command that we ran, go back over here, we are actually forwarding any traffic from our local socket on port 1234 to go to the host 172.17.20.103 on port 22. And that's it, that's SSH tunneling. You can get a lot more complicated with this if you wanted to actually chain different tunnels together to go from host to host to host. There's also dynamic port forwarding as well, where you can create your SSH connection to act as a proxy, but we'll cover that on another video. 